Hello, uh, this is Act 5, Scene 2, the final scene of Othello. My name is Cathy Williams de Vries, um, with a graduate diploma in Shakespeare studies. Um, this is the last scene of the play where um, Othello kills Desdemona and dies himself. So um, here, Des uh, Othello has a light and um, reveals Desdemona who's sleeping in her bed. And this is quite a famous speech uh, by Othello. It is the cause. It is the cause, my soul. Let me not name it to you, you chaste stars. It is the cause. Yet I'll not shed her blood, nor scar that whiter skin of hers than snow, and smooth as monumental alabaster. Yet she must die. She'll betray more men. Put out the light, than put out the light. This um, is comparing the light of Othello's lamp to um, Desdemona's light of life. If I quench thee, the, thou flaming minister, I can again thy former light restore. So uh, by killing her, he can um, make her innocent again. Should I repent me, but once put out thy light, thou cunningest pattern of excelling nature, I know not where is that Promethean heat that can thy light relume. When, when I have plucked thy rose, I can it give it, cannot give it vital growth again. It needs must wither. I'll smell thee on the tree. And then he kisses her. O balmy breath that dost almost persuade justice to break her sword. One more, one more, be thus when thou art dead, and I will kill thee and love thee after. One more, and that's the last. Kisses her again. So sweet was ne'er so fatal, I must weep, for they are cruel tears. This sorrow is heavenly, it strikes where it doth love. She wakes. Um, there's actually a passage here from Hebrews 12, verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. He chasteneth. So who the Lord love, he makes chaste. Who's there? Othello. I, Desdemona. Will you come to bed, my lord? Have you prayed tonight, Desdemon? I, my lord. If you bethink yourself of any crime unreconciled as yet to heaven and grace, solicit for it straight. Alack, my lord, what may you mean by that? Well, do it, and be brief. I will walk by. I will not kill thy unprepared spirit. No, heaven's forfend. I will not kill thy soul. So he doesn't want to kill her before she's... Um, um, said her prayers and uh, confessed the sin um, of adultery which um, Othello believes she's done. Talk you of killing, says Desdemona. Aye, I do. Then heaven have mercy on me. Amen with all my heart. If you say so, I hope you will not kill me. Hum. And yet I fear you, for you're fatal then when your eyes roll so. Why I should fear, I know not. Since guiltiness, I know not. Yet I feel I fear. Thalo says, think on thy sins. They are loves I bear to you, I, and for that thou diest. That death unnatural that kills for loving, alas, why gnaw you so on your nether lip? Some bloody passion shakes your very frame. These are portents, but yet I hope, I hope they do not point at me. Peace and be still. I will so, what's the matter? That handkerchief, which I so loved and gave thee, thou gavest to Cassio. No, by my life and soul, send for the man and ask him. Sweet soul, take heed, take heed of perjury, thou art on thy deathbed. Ay, but not yet to die. Presently, therefore, confess thee freely of thy sin, for to deny each article with oath cannot remove nor choke the strong conception that I do groan withal. Thou art to die. Cannot stop the strong conviction I have in your guilt which makes me groan so. Then, Lord, have mercy on me. I say Amen. And have you mercy too. I never did offend you in my life, never loved Cassio, but with such gentle, general warranty of heaven as I might love. I never gave him token. By heaven, I saw my handkerchief in his hand. O perjured woman, thou dost stone my heart and make me call what I intend to do. A murder which I thought a sacrifice. I saw the handkerchief. 
He found it then, I never gave it him. Send for him hither, let him confess the truth. He hath confessed. What, my lord, that he hath used thee? How, unlawfully? I? He will not say so. No, his mouth is stopped. Honest Iago has ta'en order for it. Desdemona says, Oh, my fear interprets, what is he dead? Had all his hairs been live, my great revenge has stomach for them all. He still wants to kill him. Alas, he is betrayed and I undone. Out, strumpet, weepest thou for him to my face? Oh, banish me, my lord, but kill me not. Othello attacks her, down, strumpet. Kill me tomorrow, let me live tonight. Nay, and you strive, but half an hour. Being done, there is no pause. Now that he's started, there's no stopping. Desdemona, but while I say one prayer, it is too late. Then he smothers her. O oh Lord, Lord, Lord. Amelia comes at the door. My Lord, my Lord, what ho, my Lord, my Lord. What noise is this? Not dead? Not yet quite dead? I that am cruel and yet merciful. I would not have thee linger in thy pain. So, so. Amelia within. What ho, my Lord, my Lord. Who's there? O oh, good, my Lord, I would speak a word with you. Yes, tis Amelia. By and by, she's dead. Tis like she comes to speak of Cassio's death. The noise was high. Ha! No more moving, still as the grave. Shall she come in? Were it good? I think she stirs again. No, what best to do? If she come in, she'll sure speak to my wife. My wife, my wife, what wife? I've had no wife. O oh, insupportable, O oh, heavy hour, methinks it should now a huge eclipse of sun and moon and the affrighted globe should yawn at alteration. Uh, here it means should gape at the change. Earthquakes are associated with eclipses. Methinks it should now a huge eclipse of sun and moon, and that the affrighted globe should yawn at alteration. So um, he's saying that it's like um, a huge eclipse which, um, which causes the, the earth to um, quake. Amelia is still within. I do beseech you that I may speak with you. O oh, good, my lord. I had forgot thee. O oh, come in, Amelia. Soft, by and by, let, the cur let me the curtains draw. He closes the bed curtain. Where art thou? He opens the door and enters Amelia. What's the matter with thee now? O oh, my good lord, yonder's foul murder's done. What now? But now, my lord, it is the very error of the moon. She comes more nearer earth than she was wont, and makes men mad. Cassio, my lord, hath killed a young Venetian called Roderigo. Roderigo killed and Cassio killed? No, Cassio is not killed. Not Cassio killed, then murder's out of tune, and sweet revenge grows harsh. Oh, falsely, falsely murdered. And that was Desdemona. Oh, lord, what cry is that? That? What? Out on the last, that was my lady's voice. And she opens the bed curtains. Help, help, ho, oh, help, O oh, lady, speak again, sweet Desdemona, O oh, sweet mistress, speak. Desdemona says, A guiltless death I die. O oh, what hath, who, who hath done this deed? Desdemona says, Nobody, I myself, farewell. Commend me to my kind lord, O oh, farewell. And then she dies. Why, how should she be murdered? Alas, who knows? You heard her say herself it was not I. She said so, I must need report the truth. She's like a liar gone to burning hell, twas I that killed her. Oh, the more angel she, and you the blacker devil. She turned to folly, and she was a whore. Thou dost belie her, and thou art a devil. She was false as water. Thou art rash as fire to say that she was false. Oh, she was heavenly true. Thelo says, Cassio did top her, ask thy husband else, or I would damn beneath all depth in hell. But that I did proceed upon just grounds to this extremity. Thy husband knows it all. My husband, thy husband. That she was false to wedlock. I with Cassio, had she been true, if heaven would make me such another world of one entire and perfect chrysolite, I wouldn't have sold her for it. My husband... Aye, twas he that told me on her first. An honest man he is, and hates the slime that sticks on filthy deeds. My husband. What needs this iterance, woman? I say thy husband. 
O oh, mistress, villainy hath made mocks with love. My husband said she was false. He, woman, I say thy husband, dost understand the word. My friend, thy husband, honest, honest, Iago. And Amelia says, if he say so, may his pernicious soul rot half a, rot half a grain a day. He lies in the heart. She was too fond of her most filthy bargain. Huh? Do thy worst. This deed of thine is no more worthy heaven than thou was worthy her. Thella says, Peace, you are best. Amelia says, Thou hast not half that power to do me harm as I have to be hurt. O gull, O dolt, as ignorant as dirt, thou hast done a deed. I care not for thy sword. I'll make thee known, though I lost twenty lives. Help, help, ho, oh, help. The moor has killed my mistress. Murder, murder. Then Montano, Grazioso, Graziano and um, Iago come in. What is the matter? How now, General? Oh, are you come, Iago, says Amelia. You have done well, that men must lay their murders on your neck. What is the matter? Amelia says to Iago, Iago, Disprove this villain, if thou beest a man. He says thou toldst him that his wife was false. I know thou didst not. Thou art not such a villain. Speak, for my heart is full. Now he's about to get busted. Iago said, I told him what I thought and told no more than what he found himself was apt and true. But did you ever tell him she was false? I did. You told a lie, an odious damned lie, upon my soul a lie, a wicked lie. She false with Cassio, did you say with Cassio? With Cassio, mistress, go to, charm your tongue, uh, silence your tongue. I will not charm my tongue, I am bound to speak. Montano and Graziano, oh heavens, forfend. Then Amelia to Iago, and your reports have set the murder on. Othello says, nay, stand up, masters, it is true indeed. Tis a strange truth, O oh, monstrous act. Villainy, 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 I think upon it, I think, I smell it, O oh, villainy. I thought so then, I'll kill myself for grief. O oh, villainy, villainy. Yaga says, what are you mad? I'll charge you, get you home. Amelia says, good gentleman, let me have leave to speak. Tis proper I obey him, but not now. Perchance, Iago, I will ne'er go home. Othello says, oh, 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 and falls on the bed. Amelia says, Nay, lay thee down and roar, for thou hast killed the sweetest innocent that e'er did lift up I. Oh, she was foul. To Graziano, I scarce did know you, uncle. There lies your niece, whose breath indeed these hands have newly stopped. I know this act shows horrible and grim. Graziano says, Poor Desdemon, I am glad thy father's dead. Thy match was mortal to him, and pure grief sure his old thread in twain. Did he live now, this sight would make him do a desperate turn, yet curse his better angel from his side, and fails to rep and fall to reprochant rep reprobance. Um, if he wasn't already dead, um, he'd commit suicide. Tis pitiful, but yet Iago knows that she with Cassio hath the act of shame a thousand times committed. Cassio confessed it, and she did gratify his amorous works with that recognizance and pledge of love which I first gave her. I saw it in his hand. It was a handkerchief, an antique token that my father gave my mother. Amelia says, O oh God, O oh heavenly God. Iago says, Wounds, hold your peace. Amelia says, Twill out, twill out, I peace. No, I will speak as liberal as the north. Let heaven, men, and devils, let them all, all cry shame against me, yet I'll speak. Iago says, Be wise and get you home. I will not. And then Iago draws his sword. Graziano says, Fie, your sword upon a woman. And Amelia says, O oh, dull, O oh, though, O oh, though, dull moor, that handkerchief thou speaks of, I found by fortune and did give my husband. For often, with a solemn earnestness, more than indeed belonged to such a trifle, he begged of me to steal it. Iago's busted. Villainous whore. She gave it Cassio? No, alas, I found it, and I did give it to my husband. Fair filth, thou liest. 
By heaven I do not, I do not, gentlemen, O murderous coxcomb, why should such a fool do with so good a wife? Othello says, Are there no stones in heaven but what serves for thunder? Precious villain, the moor runs at Iago and uh, is disarmed by Montano. Iago wounds his wife. The woman falls, sure he has killed his wife. Amelia says, I, I, oh, lay me by my mistress's side. And then Iago exits. He's gone, but his wife's killed. Tis a notorious villain. Take you this weapon, which I have here recovered from the moor. Come, guard the door without. Let him not pass, but kill him rather. I'll after that same villain, for tis a damned slave. So they exit. And then Othello says, I am not valiant neither, but every puny, puny whipster, an in insignificant person, gets my sword. But why should honour outlive honesty? Let it go all. Amelia says, What did thy song bode, lady? Hark, canst thou hear me? I will play the swan and die in music. And she sings the willow song, because uh, swans were believed um, at the time of their death to sing. It's quite a, um, a well-known superstition, actually. Willow, 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 more she was chaste, she loved thee, cruel more. So come to my soul, to blisses I speak true. So speaking, I think, alas, I die. And she dies. Thello says, I have another weapon in this chamber. It was a sword of Spain, the ice brook's temper, uh, tempered in icy water. Oh, here it is. Uncle, I must come forth. Graziano within. If thou art tempted, it will cost thee dear. Thou hast no weapon, and perforce must suffer. Fellow says, look in upon me then, and speak with me, or naked as I am, I will assault thee. What is the matter? Behold, I have a weapon, a better never did itself sustain upon a soldier's thigh. I have seen the day that, with this little arm and this good sword, I have made my way through more impediments. Then twenty times you'll stop, but, oh, vain boast! Who can control his fate? Tis not so now. Be not afraid, though you do see me weaponed. Here is my journey's end. Here is my but um, goal. And very sea mark of my, my, my utmost sail. Do you go back dismayed? Tis a lost fear. Man but a rush against... Man but a rush against Othello's breast. And he retires. Where should Othello go? And to Desdemona, now, how dost thou look now, O ill-starred O ill starred wench, pale as thy smock, when we shall meet at count, um, judgment day, this look of thine will hurl my soul from heaven, and fiends will snatch at it. Then he touches her, cold, cold, my girl, even like thy chastity, O cursed, cursed slave, whip me, ye devils, from the possession of this heavenly sight. Blow me about in winds, roast me in sulphur, wash me in steep down gulfs of liquid fire. O oh, Desdemon, dead Desdemon, dead, oh, oh. So Lodovico, Montano, Iago, who was guarded by officers, and Cassian, Cassio in the chair. Where is this rash and most unfortunate man? That's he that was Othello, here I am. Where is that viper? Bring the villain forth. I look down towards his feet, but that's a fable. To look for the devil, he looks at his feet to see if the, the devil's cloven foot is there, because they believe him to be a devil. To Iago, Othello says, if that be as the devil, I cannot kill me. He wounds him. So he can't kill him if he's a devil. He wounds Iago, and then uh, Lodovico says, wrench his sword from him. Iago says, I bleed, sir, but not killed. Thello says, I am not sorry, neither. I'd have thee live, for in my sense tis happiness to die. O thou Othello that was once so good, fallen in the practice of a cursed slave, what shall be said to thee? Why, anything... 
as an honourable murderer, if you will, for naught I did in hate, but all in honour. This wretch hath part confessed his villainy. Did you and he consent in Cassio's death? I. Dear General, I never gave you cause, says Cassio. I do believe it, and I ask your pardon. Will you, I pray, demand that demi-devil why he hath thus ensnared my soul and body? Iago says, demand me nothing. What you know, you know, and from this time forth I will never speak word. Lodovico to Iago says, what not to pray? And then Grazios, Graziano says, torments will ope your lips. Othello says, well, thou dost best. Lodovico says, Sir, you will understand what hath befallen, which, as I think you know not, here is a letter found in the pocket of the slain Roderigo, and here another. The one of them imports the death of Cassio to be undertook by Roderigo. Oh, villain! By most heathenish and most gross. Now, here's another discontented paper found in his pocket too, and this, it seems, Roderigo meant to have sent this downward villain, but that belike, Iago in the interim, came in and satisfied him. Othello says to Iago, O oh, thou pernicious, pernicious caitiff uh, wretch, how come you Cassio by that handkerchief that was my wife's? I found it in my chamber, and he himself confessed it, but even now, that there he dropped it for a special purpose which wrought to his desire. O oh, fool, fool, fool! There is besides in Roderigo's letter how he upbraids Iago, that he made him brave me upon the watch, whereon it came that I was cast, dismissed. And even but now he spake after long seaman dead, Iago hurt him, Iago set him on. Ludovico says to Othello, you must forsake this room and go with us. Your power and your command is taken off, and Cassio rules in Cyprus. For this slave, if there be any cunning cruelty that can torment him much and hold him long, it shall be his. You shall close prisoner rest, till that the nature of your fault be known to the Venetian state. Come, bring away. Othello says, soft you, a word or two before you go. I have done the state some service, and they know it. No more of that. I pray you, in your letters, when you shall have these unlucky deeds relate, speak of me as I am, nothing extenuate, nor set down aught in malice. Then you must speak of one that loved not wisely but too well, of one not easily jealous but being wrought perplexed in the extreme, of one whose hand, like the base Indian, threw a pearl away, richer than all his tribe, of one whose subdued eyes, albeit unused to the melting mood, Drops tears as fast as the Arabian trees, their medicinable gum. Set you down this, and say besides that in Aleppo once, where a malignant and a turbaned, turbaned Turk beat a Venetian and traduced the state, I took by the throat the circumcised dog and smote him thus, and then he stabbed himself. Oh, bloody period! All that is spoke is marred. Othello says to Desdemona, I kissed thee ere I killed thee. No way but this, killing myself to die upon a kiss. He dies, kissing Desdemona. This I did fear, but thought he had no weapon, for he was great of heart. Ludovico to Iago, O oh, Spartan dog, more fell than anguish, hunger or the sea. Look on the tragic loading of this bed. This is thy work, the object poisoned sight. Let it be hid. And then they close the bed curtains. Graziano, keep the house and seize upon the fortunes of the moor, for they succeed on you. For Cassio says, to you, Lord Governor, remains the censure of this hellish villain, the time, the place, the torture, oh, enforce it. Myself will straight aboard, and to the state this heavy act with heavy heart relate. So that quite an act. Um, he kills... The fellow kills Desdemona. Um, Iago's found out, and um, Othello kills himself. So it's quite an amazing play. It's, it's just incredible. He, Shakespeare certainly knows how to write um, a fantastic, um, a fantastic ending to a play. So that's all of Othello. I, I hope that um, it's found. Uh, 
you find this video to be of use. Uh, be sure to join me next time for uh, yet another Shakespeare play.